controlling a bunch yes. of different areas of the map, playing at two spots at once. They're gonna get tested. Gen.G had a field day with aggression at the beginning of Icebox, and they caused so many problems, but Enemy we'll see if it's a bit of the same. Lock is drone, clearing out mid, finding a little bit of space, and getting any info that it can. But all this Killjoy utility, Dre, it's posted up. Hey, perfect for Benji. Fishy, the turret as well. We've seen Bustio do this quite a bit. Saw him do it at champs, actually. Texture doesn't feel good here. He's taking 70 HP. Yeah, he's swung. He's found safe passage, but he's been put in a corner now, finding space, now getting out. Gen G looking really good on this pistol, and they don't seem to be slowing down. That scrappy on the actual site. A bunch of players running through smokes. Woot will convert that kill on a texture. Got a little messy there. Woot deciding that he wants yes. to take a different approach, and Locky is a step oh. ahead of it. Meanwhile, I'm not really sure how that happened. Pen that through the wall. Oh, he's he's got to hit the shot, dashing to his left, trying to fire to his right, and a little bit more spam. What seems secure, what seems safe, is now up for grabs, is now unsettled. Nice. Woot with 22 HP. He's going to have to clutch this out, but again, they've got him surrounded. Oh, that's nice. Gen G get the pistol. Been a flurry of bullets everywhere for Wu, getting a bunch of tags, getting a spam kill. And he's kind of folks, that little bit of finesse, it goes the extra mile for them. That texture played that so well. Yeah, he lived for so long. He's got a guardian in hand now. That knife on the other side of the map by Patatec, not going to tag anything. And Gen G, it was the anti-ego that didn't go their way in the last map that kind of gave mm -hmm. life to Team Heretic, so... You have to believe that they want to convert this. They need to convert this. Give them an inch, and they'll take the whole damn map. And on a map like this, where you really need to salvage as many rounds as you can on the attacking side, I mean, it's going to be even more crucial than ever. Good utility being used so far to delay any flood from heaven. Booz was in a really nice spot, but he cannot stand in the face of the Vandal. Knife will be invested out. Still just pistols for heretics. Not really able to do much else. You got Woot with the Sheriff. Spike a little nice bit of HP. No spam kills this time around. Though. No. Well, Rians is going exploring a little bit. Much to his dismay, he'll be met with an alarm bot on the other side. Yeah. At some point, he's just going to go for the exits. Lockia picking up kills. Texture picking up kills. Woot still going strong. Whoa! Yes, he is. He's gotten two. But he's going to have to close out in an ace fashion if he wants to win this. Time is short, too. He's gotten three. But Karen stops him. Gen G get their second. Nicely done from Gen G from the beginning of that kills on their side. And yes, it's early. So you can't imagine that will remain the case for much longer. Boo had a shot at it there. Yeah, one way disrespected from Karen there. It's the Gen G way. Just silent walk up. Perfect dagger. Ooh. But they all dodge it. And Patatek gets dropped. And now they can go forward. With free mobility and free utility, Texture falls. There was no follow up from his teammates yeah. there. He was yeah, like, that's, 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 that was very strange, actually. The communication or yeah. What was being said in the comms. Something not going away. And all of a sudden, Heretics, I mean, they look dire for them in that round. Had that kill gotten converted or even traded, that would have been a free A site. Now they're forced to walk into the blender of the Killjoy utility. See if they're aware of the Molly's lane with that alarm bot. If they're not, I mean, this could be, this could be a disaster. Turret cleared. More to come. Benji Fishy not getting tagged by the knife, so his utility is still in play. Tries to clear the drone, the flash goes up, Meteor is behind him, and he has no idea. And even if he knew at that point, he was so blind, he was so deafened, he never had a shot. Now they can turn their attention over to B. Not concerned, not worried about the utility. It's easier now. Woot's playing on the other side of the smoke, dashing forward, but Meteor's there to greet, Meteor's there to wait, Meteor's there to punish. Woot falls, Rians does too. Meteor gifted. And now Boo in a 1v3. He's got the rifle, but the rest of his team doesn't have the finances. They don't have the funds. And so he has to take a step back. I'm here. And it's brutal. Getting bonused by the attacking side. 
All of a sudden, you know, Gen.G have a chance to get to that four round mark. And for a lot of teams on this map, that's a W in itself. They have a bit of buffer to play around with, play around the map. Munchkin, that was a great setup for Meteor there, going all the way up mid. It wasn't too pretty. The shots didn't quite to perfection. Up. Heretics broken by. And they're setting up an updraft play here with the knives. Maybe off you of an omen run. flash. Does he go for it? Dart omen flash to combo with it. He's getting it. Here we go. In. There's the high ground. There's the flash. But Munchkin swats him out of the sky. Yeah, they're able to get their one. Now pushing forward. The spike getting planted. And again, Gen.G with control. With room to work and Boo dead. No thrifties this time. Gen.G in firm control. Oh. That's all right. Nobody saw that. A little bit of an awkward dance there. Three remain for Heretics. Two of them coming in through spawn and all three of them crumble. Four row the way of Gen.G, as you mentioned, on attack. Rough last map. Josh was talking about how he didn't convert any of the 1v2s that he had. More disrespect shown in A-Main. Pat attack will punish. Oh, yes, he will. Benji Fishy not satisfied with sitting back and watching. Gets active, gets involved. Will also reap the benefits. And it seems like Heretics will get a round win. In flawless fashion, Pat attack with four as Heretics are on the board. Yeah, an absolute overpowered it can be on a map like this, especially towards that B site, spamming through all the walls. Even if you don't get a, get a kill, you get all that chip damage in. Aline Ang, Patek holding the line. He's got his ult, but Munchkin does too. Traded in kind, Munchkin pushing forward, getting the best of Pat Attack. Is he expecting Boo on the other side? Yes, he is. Oh, he gets two. Not able to convert on the third for Benji Fishy. The one-two punch is too good. What spray control from Benji Fishy. And that's all it takes. I mean, these tiny margins for error. Oh, I'm good. Unreal. Yeah, on Icebox, it was that pop flash that he did that connected on two of his players. Gave all the momentum on the side of Heretics. This time around, that little half check. Gotta feel like he's kicking himself in the leg for that one. There's no time to think about that, though. Genji made a little bit of noise. That's why they let Meteor sit and wait. But now, eyes towards B. And the problem here is Texture has no dash. So he's going to be met by a flurry of bullets. I say that, but that tag might just be enough to gain the space. Oh, Rians handles that beautifully and then drops the dart. Ready for the spam. Texture can't get out. He can't get in. What a play from Rians. The spark on Icebox. Now a full flame on Ascent. These kids seem like left. they can do no wrong right now. Oh, where is he gone? Alarm bot's still up at mid. Oh, but he's got utility out. Punished. Meteor finding the right time to strike. And now attention divided with 13 seconds left. Karen's got to go. He doesn't really have time to think this through. He will fall at the hands of Woot. That's what I was talking about. To deal with. Yeah, one two punch of its own, and it's all light armor on the side yeah. of Genji. Four players tagged by that dagger. And of course, oh I, gosh, I thought he was going to fight, man. <laughs> I thought he was going to swing. Just that little flash alone gives him all the info, though. He didn't even need to peek with it. He still heard, what, two, three players fully blind, just spamming away. That might set up some future kills in other rounds. Kills one more flash. Cover going on. So if he decides that he's not satisfied, he can take another shot at it. But instead, find, but instead finds comfort in the smoke. Beautiful entry from Wu. Texture again, can't find a way in. But Karen has. Oh, but he still can't capitalize on it. Wu is alive. Wu has awoken. He peeks through the molly dug. Unreal. Just so confident, so bold.
That's savage. A 5v2 now, and it feels like the tables have turned. Player standing. How often, Dre, did we see throughout this series moments where the round had just started and then all of a sudden Genji's up 5-3, 2-4, things like that. I mean, every the script has been flipped. <laughs> if you give Heretics an inch, they're going to take a mile, maybe more. Oh. Munchkin will take out the first member of Team Heretics, and he doesn't have time to get the bomb planted, but in these moments, Ten Heretics on the left. retake, they're not likely to just give you free fights. They're going to go together. Fight they're going to use planted. whatever utility they have left in the round. I mean, they still have a drone. Yeah. <laughs> they're so disciplined. What is that? Generation. Here comes the drone. Yeah. And the tag, the peak from Woot, securing the round. He opened it up. He re through the KO Molly of Munchkin. Texture being one of them, considering the peak right here. He's just on the other side of the box. Does he jump peak? Here. <laughs> He's scared to. Wood is also giving up the line a little bit. A dart used in a main to Lakia, so Careful. unless Genji invests the drone into this round to clear out mid. It should be a free first blood for Woot. That dagger lands, but you might think he's a B main or something. There is the connection. It was a slow burn, but Texture falls. Munchkin on the counter punch, though, as Woot finds another. The smoke, the dash stays alive. Number still the way of the defense. Genji, I feel like they've been spinning the wheels the last couple of rounds. It's not from lack of effort. They've gotten this thing competitive. They've gotten it down to three, but of course it's bad attack. Here, Spike, Spike down. Lakia has delivered on this very site before. Can he do it again? It's not the same weaponry. It's not the same position. But the demand is arguably greater. Lakia down, one getting one. Remaining. Karen finding another. Can they win this 2v3 back? Rian's one away from his ult, but has two targets to find. Time is short, the drop is there. Karen gets his third. Genji take the lead back. Karen carrying the team right now with Lakia. The omen flash. The 30 2v3. Into the next we go. Genji with one round lead. We've got a couple of ults coming online very soon for the attack. There are plenty on the other side too. Do you think they're ready for this move from Pat Attack and Wine? I mean, we've seen Genji try to disrespect that one way quite a bit. Ah, uh, we've also seen Genji be really sloppy sometimes. Whoa. Here. No second charge, no second swing. Nicely done to conceal the op. Right here. You assume, but now that you hear the Vandal on the other side, they're gonna rotate back into it. Woot's got a line. Woot's got a shot, but it doesn't land. Fox to dash, do they dare swing into him? Surely not. So confident, Lucky is gonna drone him off as he should. But now there's a turret still there that you have to break and he's still holding his ground, doesn't connect. Tries to strike onto the third, the fourth, and it's the shorty that delivers. Rians gets his. There's a casualty involved, but it doesn't matter. Cause the round seems secured. 30 seconds left. Lucky a 1v3. Or else heretics are nodding us up at five apiece. He's close to the spike, but time is of the essence. I have the spike. He has no choice but to go forward. The problem is, forward is not safe. Forward is not secure. We're tied at five. Woot, absolutely overwhelming the opposite. Voice. The delay is over. Tied back at five. We've got two rifles on the side of the attack. Meteor one away from his right ult. And they put Pat Attack back in line now. Yeah, Genji ne never cleared him out in the last round. That allowed the quick ro rotation and the Sova ult set up from Rians in the previous. Do they clear him? That crosshair certainly is trained that way. They're not clearing him, Doug. Ah, they're looking. They're looking, but they're not clearing him, Doug. Oh. They're not clearing him, Doug. Oh, no. Oh, no. He gets his two. Almost gets his third. Meanwhile, the Alper at the top not able to connect the first time, but Woot does not miss twice. 
again. As soon as the round starts, Genji are on a back foot. These are mistakes Genji don't usually make. But we saw it, we saw it a couple of rounds ago. Remember the hit, the check switch? It's the same idea. These little boxes that are not going checked. And they're paying out I dividends to Team Heretics. 30 seconds left. The feet of Taxer will be seen, doesn't get tagged up. This would take an absolute <laughs> miracle, but he might get the opening right here. Can't even get one as Benji Fishy cleans him up. 6-5, the way of Heretics. Nothing. Oh, there. That hurts. No kill, but yeah, a lot of damage done on a Meteor. He's an important player to stay alive here, too. He's got his lockdown online. Last round of the half. It's a full B main trap. Omen flash off of the Killjoy turret. And Odin spam. Honestly, it's very simple. Here we go. We saw Patatek do in the previous round. There's the ult. Boo's on the swing. Benji Fishy holds the line. Forget the paranoia. It's a barrage of bullets. But Genji able to punch back. But they're off kilter now. Wavering, wobbling. Flash. Nope. That flash. Missing its mark. When you're 12 and 6, that's, that's all right. You'll let that one go. Locky investing. Oh, he's getting tagged on Rians. Again. Can he stay alive? The fancy footwork is so good. I don't know how he does it. I do not know how he does it. It's not an easy thing to do. And Laka, he's so good with that ult as well. Mm -hmm. Pad attack with that aggressive space. 30 thug. seconds left. Just burning the clock down. Genji have to clear out everything. 53 HP, 20 seconds left in the round. I mean, Munchkin has to speed up here, throw the molly to delay so we can get the bomb down if he doesn't. Well, there's no question oh my God. that now. They've gone behind it. Oh! How? Munchkin gets three. Genji ties up at six. That was a 2v4. That's crazy. Could be the answer that they're looking for. You know, Josh was talking about it on the desk. This is what he felt like the change was for. It wasn't necessarily for the defense. It was to find success on attack, and success already found courtesy of Woot. He's been unreal on this map so far, in the head-to-head -head specifically. He's pining for more. A little noise cut. Now they're gonna rewalk into B main off of that pressure. Utility being used to not get picked off. This is looking really good for Heretics. Meanwhile, what looks like could be disaster. There's a fight afoot mid. The push through the smoke. Genji striking. Wood's playing his position. He's playing his timing, but Karen, aware of the possibility. Now staring back as the spike makes its way onto B. Things slow down for just a moment. What can Meteor and Karen do? Spikes planted. They're healthy. Healthy enough to make a run at this, but Meteor falls. Karen on the trade. Wood on the swing. Oh. So smart to get out right there. That's perfect, it's beautiful. No. Tempting him in. Heretics get the pistol. But this is where Heretics faltered in their last match on Ascent. It was the anti-eco. Not allowing the moment to get too big. Oh, thud. Both these players in A main dodge the KO dagger. Oh, the flash setup is so nice, but it's traded. And so the trap that was set up Results in nothing. Enemy oh! Making a statement. You've got to get through this cleanly. The hopes of a bonus rest on this round. If they can get through this and save the Bulldog, save the Guardian, maybe even the Spectre, I'd still go so far as to say, you invest around it. Exactly, and this approach right now is what you want. From the side of Heretics, the probe on the opposite side of the map. You have all info, nobody is B. And I guess it doesn't matter, you might as well go anywhere. Woot! Spamming through the smoke. Cleaning it up with the Bulldog. On the other side of the map, Benji Fishy just grabbed another orb. I mean, if they can cycle the bomb plant onto them, unless Charon goes down right here. And he will. 
a flawless round for Heretics as they get to eight. That being said, this is the first gun round for Gen G's defensive side. Much like Pad Attack, Munchkin holding that A main space. Heretics more than willing to give all that space up while they prod up mid slowly, surely. Extra anything to come in their sights. Extra's waiting on the other side. This is a really nice turret setup too, but the flash delays yeah. for just a moment, but you didn't hit texture. And he'll hit back. A couple more spotted. 59 HP for the duelist. Has to give the space up, and Munchkin will fill in behind it. An upgrade for Woot. Just barely misses the sights of Meteor. And a freeze to the round, waiting for any type of mistake the defense is going to make. Rians has his dart back up. Oh. That could have been it. That could have been the opportunity, the possibility. But the, pos the, the thoughts, the potential of a bonus are surely gone here. Rians has upgraded a weapon. He's going to have to 1v4 to pull this off. A paranoia at his face. No space is safe. Texture waking up in this second half of Ascent on that gun round. Some really clean shots. But they hang on. Change of utility at the beginning of the round. You see the knife already invested, a dart to boot. And now heretics want to explore mid. And the alarm bot will keep them at bay at least for a little bit. And if nothing else, it's just info. This looks so similar to the last round that we witnessed. Mm -hmm. Alarm bot spotted. Now heretics have options. Pocket might get caught in this timing. Heretics, they'll take full advantage of it quite yet. Another freeze. The knife's not going to tag anything. Cat. Meteor's aware of where the hit's coming from. He understands he's getting surrounded. It's getting real cozy. It's getting real claustrophobic in there. But Meteor on the swing gets another. With a molly in his lap, strikes back. Things slow down. It's a 2v2 now. Boo gets a spike down. Spike planted. And Munchkin is on the prowl. Rians keep him back. No, what a shot. That was beautiful. Boo and a 1v2. Cover going With down. so much to do. One way will provide some cover. It'll buy some time. We've seen a point zero six, and as every second ticks off this clock, the situation gets more complicated, more difficult. He ate the flash, gets the first. Munchkin waiting on the other side of the box. Boo creeping forward. Closer and closer. Now the drop down. The molly on one side. He's buying his time as best as he can. He's playing the clock. Munchkin's going to get the kill. It's going to be close. There's not enough time. So well played by Boo. The Red Bull clutches. Heretics get nine. So close. Such a difficult situation. You said you got to let that one sink in. But Dre, there's no time to. 17th round is upon us, and the buy for Genji, as you mentioned, is rough. Shadows traveling. It's so impressive how Heretics can just, within a one day turnaround, couple day turnaround, become a completely different team on new maps, new compositions. All five players, their macro game, their game sense, it's so on point to be able to apply everything they learn in such a short amount of time. It's so rare to find teams that can do this thing. Coaching staff and the value they provided is incredible, but I mean, you can do all the prep. You can do all the work on the front end, but if the execution is not there, and it's all for naught. Exactly. Can you actually execute it? And this is a team that's shown us that they are willing to do that. They're willing to go the extra mile. There's a lot of kill to utility here. Pat Attack does not have his knife up. What a shot. And just like that, almost effortless. 30 seconds left. They've got sheriffs on the other side. They've got to know that that's the case. The Singer and the Sheriff provide some value. They deal some damage. And it's only getting worse. It's a 2v2. It shouldn't have gotten it down to this. But Heretic stabilized. It feels like it is running away with us. On the actual A site. That was a nasty shot from Heretic. As the first time around. And it feels like this is it. Genji have to win this round. An operator invested, an Odin invested. And I think this is why you see Heretics just going for a full B main rush. They have four ults online. Whoa! And three members, one away. Now Lakia gets his off you the stamp removed. Bomb grenade out. Lakia.
lockdown used. Remember, Lockheed just got his ult. Could counter with it. And he will. That's going to clear things out. And it's going to slow things down for just a moment. But never mind. Who wants to go forward? Texture with the op punishes. Meteor, meanwhile, playing his cards beautifully. It's a flawless round in response for Genji. You said they needed to win it. They do. Used at the beginning here, the blades invested by Woot. <laughs> and he's not gonna have him for a little while. That knife will cause problems. Yeah. Takes them back away promptly. Woot decides to just hang around here. See if he can get any kills here. given to him, but so far from the side of Gen G, they're playing the it pretty safe. You have Munchkin just spotting the cat, jiggling back and forth. Maybe he'll commit a Molly or something like that, something of the sort. And Texture, he's just tuck heaven here. No reason to swing. Area. A lot of info gathered B main. That's a free orb. Maybe he can catch a timing if he pushes all the way through. But oh, we're already four players here, though. Yeah, the problem is Lockett cleared all that space B main, and then you've got the alarm bot mid, too. So they can stack all A, understanding where the hit's coming from. Yeah. And now Knife's traded. If there was doubt before, there isn't anymore. Meteor tries to catch a timing, tries to get aggressive and cheeky. Pace for it with his life, but the rest of the guns around him will secure the round. Pat attack in a 1v4 with a Guardian in hand. Oh. He'll get dropped by the op, and what a shot that must have been. Three for Texture. Meteor, he had One to round run. separating two heretics on top. Got a couple of ults. Standing ahead. Gen G with plenty to play around. Yeah, the ult economy is insane right now for Gen G. Something I want to point out is this, this attacking Odin. It makes me believe that we're going to see a B hit come out because why else would you invest into an Odin on the attacking side? Oh, oh he, he spotted, spotted him. him. No way. The lamppost? Here. That's what's keeping him safe? What? Here. Crouching and staying alive. He thinks he's still there. Surely he I gives up that angle eventually, but if he sticks around for too long, might get punished. Oh, the footstep mid. I think Woot hear, hears that. Alarm bot's still up, though. Texture gives his face away, but you're right. The alarm bot will keep him at bay for now. And everything that Heretics has shown so far is a lean towards A. Woot has a smoke. He wants to try to play around this, or he'll just clear it. Forget about the element of surprise. An early killjoy ult. Meteor not liking no the silence We're around the map. Rian's having to invest the ult to counter it and trade it out. And will eventually get cleared. Remember Meteor, how well he plays this time, how well he plays this position. Now in a spot to do it again. As he hears footsteps coming through, Patatek had him. Read him the entire time. Locky is on the swing and he can't find a thing. Spike will go down. Texture and Munchkin sitting back. Forced to rotate over. They've been able to clear one, but the trades are perfect. Heretics will get to 11. What a call off of the timeout. That was, it wasn't for the first couple of chapters, but it is now. Texture with the op. Has the what? Boot, but Woot does it again. This is the Woot that we were talking about at the beginning of the tournament, at the beginning of the series. This is the Woot that was supposed to stand up against Texture. The one that's been redefining what a prodigy Yeah, Woot has silenced me. Yeah, Woot have silenced me. Because that, that is scary. That is creepy scary. Woot has silenced me. I'm impressed. They're so close. The flash over the top, they have to spam. And who is the nightmare? Gonna clean him up, and now they can waltz their way into A for free. But Meteor causing problems, dealing with pressure from both sides. He's able to alleviate a little bit of it, but it's too overwhelming. It's too great. Locky has to save. And if I'm Heretics right now, yep. once that ticker goes down enough to where you know it's safe, maybe you leave one guy there. I am hunting. I'm looking for this operator. I am not letting Genji breathe. The economy is fine, forget it. But if you get this operator out, 
You don't have to worry about that going into the next round. I mean, you've got him in the corner. You've got him against the ropes with shoulder slumped and head heavy. And that could be the final blow to put him away. And so they will. Perhaps a bit too late, though. Lockyer will hang on to it. He'll take the off into the next. Doug, you talked about fundamentals. In that timeout, what have we seen so far? We've seen a team that called a perfect round, a perfect fake towards A, leaving three players there. Into this round. Where right here. How do Genji respond? Munchkin as his ult. Another slow round. Knife getting a little bit of info, spotting Karen on the other side. Enemy tank. The drone only seeing one, and it's Benji Fishu, so there's no real reason to think something else is afoot. No reason for suspicion. Shock will deal a little bit of damage, a little splash. And listen to the map. You can hear a pin drop, and that pin is the swing! Meteor falls, Lockie attacking the smoke, assassinating Woop, but getting traded. A 3v3 now, as they've invested everything into this. Heretic's not interested in playing any more rounds here. But Gen G will not go down without a fight. They will not relent. So they take the three that they have forward. Knife will buy a little bit more time. Rians is on the swing with the drone. Texture cannot get in. It's uncomfortable. It's not easy. It's labored. Texture with some high ground now dashing forward. Still torn asunder by his teammates. Not able to join up. Not able to come in. They don't have time. Collectively. And that spike has been ticking for a long time. Now committing. All of them huddled back sight. Can they get him out of those pesky corners? They've gotten two. Can Boo do it by himself? He's gotten it down to one, but the smoke provides cover. He's got to check in, and he does! The Red Bull Quad from Heretics! Gotta give it to them.